What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, they delayed the dev stream from February into March, so I almost forgot to do dev stream bingo this time. Uh, and we're actually going to be getting a ton of information about Nibiri on this dev stream coming out tomorrow. So, we're going to go over my predictions today. And just a reminder, I will be live streaming the dev stream at launch, guys. So if you want to come stop by, see my live reactions, all that, uh, there will be an Umbra Forma Twitch drop as well from their stream. So make sure you're watching on uh, Twitch with your link account and all that if you want the Umbra Forma. All right, so we basically do this every uh, dev stream. I'm going to have some gameplay of a game I've been playing recently on the stream too, just uh, for a little bit of entertainment, I guess. Uh, and then, yeah, let's just start with the dev stream bingo. Uh, keep in mind that... There really hasn't been much going on this year so far. Uh, that's why this stream is happening. We need, we need more information about what's going on this year in, in Warframe. All right, let's start the bingo card. Now, as far as what we got for the bingo card, uh, the, the biggest thing here is going to be stuff about Daviri and things that are on the table that were supposed to happen that have not happened yet. Uh, so, as far as the first thing, I we got Plague Star details. Plague Star has not come back in a long time. And DE did say that Plague Star is going to be uh, heavily altered next time it returns. So I'm thinking there might be sentience on Plague Star. Maybe the boss fight will be different. Who knows? Maybe it will be even form a blueprint instead of fully built form like it used to be. Your guess is as good as mine, uh, but we still need some information. And Plague Star does usually come out around like the... I think it's usually around like the summer, so we got a while till it's the summer, but we also should be probably knowing about what's happening there as it will be different. Either way, moving on. Next one, we got audio issues. Lots of dev streams by DE have some crazy audio issues. Uh, that's where the high Tenno meme came out uh, and things like that. So if there's an audio issue, you can fill in that square. Next, new no new frame with Daviri. As we are being shown lots of stuff about Daviri uh, in this stream... We are going to also potentially know about what's coming out with Daviri non-operator uh, stuff. Because Daviri is the mostly be operator stuff, when we can tell. Uh, and they said that Varuna was supposed to be in Daviri. They ripped Daviri, uh, they ripped Varuna out of Daviri and put her in Lua's Prey. And then the Satrine randomly showed up. So my theory is there will be no new frame with a Daviri update. Because they keep just making other... I mean, I guess they can make frames pretty quickly, it seems like. So maybe they will throw one in there. But in their words, in the November dev stream... Varuna was supposed to be in Daviri, and here, she's here instead. So there you go. No new frame Daviri, potentially. Next, remember Dorma Zones. I think Dorma Zones will actually be used as like either the portal to do Daviri content. So after you get to Zeramon, you can do Daviri or whatever, uh, or something like that. Additionally, I have a, a, later, uh, a later square filled in for gardening. Gardening was supposed to happen uh, at some point. We already know that. And there's even a, a Sentinel skin that says gardening and all that. For Zeramot, it never actually came out, so maybe that will come out too. I already basically skipped ahead to gardening. Next, horse armor. Kind of like a meme, uh, a meme one right there, but basically horse armor, if you remember uh, way back, I think it was like Skyrim or something, they were selling horse armor DLC and people were freaking out about it because why we need to give you money for horse armor? Shouldn't that just be in the game already? Uh, expect, you know, purchasable horse armor for the Void Horse in Daviri, as one of the things they will be showing is apparently horse customization. That might as well be the free space. Next, moving on to current things that are happening in Warframe. Uh, no mention of the Steel Essence nerf. If you've been paying attention to my channel and some others' channels, there was a massive Steel Essence nerf uh, to, it seems to, to like try to stop AFK bot botting and stuff like that. But a lot of people think it's also just to make more people buy Prime Access. Either way, they nerf Steel Essence a lot. And, uh, yeah, you can't turn in as much Kuva for Kuva either. So, I'm guessing they will never mention that ever again. So, uh, you can thank for your other creators that never said anything about this, guys. Because when it's only one or two creators that, that actually care about this stuff, and the other ones are laughing at the fact that Kuva got nerfed, yeah, certain creators were laughing at Kuva getting nerfed, uh, then, you know what, the, the community is divided, and nothing's going to get changed. DE is going to just do whatever they feel like it. So, yeah. Thank your creators that didn't care about the Steel Essence nerf if you're ever going to be complaining about it. And you're welcome for me actually doing it, unlike most others. Never speak of Archon Shards again. I another Going along with recent things that people are frustrated by. I doubt we'll ever get a change to Archon Shards ever again. If anything, we'll probably get more sources of Archon Tau Shards. Maybe like from being Daviri, you can get an Archon Tau Shard or something. Uh, but yeah... Tau Shard crafting, I'd say don't expect it, honestly. 
Um, additionally, Hildren Prime is basically already confirmed. Uh, it was pretty much leaked, and also, it just, if you can predict this stuff, like I can predict this stuff, Hildren Prime is next. Uh, and I'm wondering what she's going to look like. Maybe like a golden six-pack, maybe, uh, you know, some kind of like crazy golden helmet. We'll have to see what ends up happening with Hildren Prime. Uh, her weapons will likely be the Larkspur Prime and the Shade Prime, unfortunately. Uh, so, not the most insane. Speaking of Arcwing guns that are primed, how about Galvanize Arcwing gun mods? I was looking at the Larkspur the other day, and I'm like, wow, the mod choices you have for this thing are really weak. Um, honestly, like, even the Corvus, the Corvus Prime, it, it might deal some good damage, but it doesn't have any uh, Galvanized mods. Primaries have Galvanized mods, which means when you get a kill, you get, like, increased stats and all that. I think it's time to add that for Arcwing guns, maybe throw in the, uh, the Arbitration Store, or, I don't know, somewhere else. Borrow, maybe? Wh whatever. Just galvanize mods for Arcwing guns. Not that I really think they would be necessary at all, but maybe to let Arcwing guns hold up two primaries a little bit better. Throw those in there. Moving on, one of the things we know they're showing on this dev stream is Drifter Daviri Melee Combat. Uh, and I don't know. Certain games do, don't do Melee Combat that well, but they delayed Daviri so many times at this point, you would hope that the combat would look good for uh, the Drifter and all that, melee combat-wise. But yeah, I've played uh, enough Dark Souls type, or I've watched enough Dark Souls types games as well. Certain Dark Souls, like, FromSoft games just have bad-looking combat compared to, like, an actual Dark Souls game or something like Bloodborne. So we'll see if it ends up looking clunky and bad. Uh, it's all going to be of those animations that we don't get a new stance on. They, they've made plenty of stances for melee, so you would think they would be able to, to get it right. So we'll have to see. Um, very important one here, cross-save information. It wouldn't be a uh, announcement by DE without them saying, we'll talk about cross-save when we know more about it. That's just how it is. They don't have it ready to go. Uh, but people are very impatient. So we need cross-save. We need cross-trade. We need cross-platform clans. Uh, it's A lot of people will come back to the game once there is cross-save. But man, we are waiting a long time to get that cross-save in here. Uh, I thought that they got like bought out by Tencent or whatever, uh, and they'd have more money. Apparently not. So... We're just still waiting probably like another year or whatever, six months for cross-save. Uh, it's in cross-play is technically out, although very buggy, even though some people don't want to believe that. Uh, maybe if you actually played the game, you'd realize how laggy and bad cross-play cross, cross play can be at times. Anaros Rework was announced by one of the community uh, members a while ago, uh, one of the community streamers, and we are waiting on that. Anaros needs a rework. Also, Hydro needs a rework. Uh, but Anaros is probably getting it next, as according to their words. So, information on that would be great. The free space. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, the, the word raid is said is the next one. We, uh, If you watched my previous videos about how long raids have been removed, raids have been out of the game longer than they were in the game. Raids have been gone for about five years. Actually, over five years now that we're past February. So, where are the raids, DE? I want some actual content where I can use my crazy builds. Uh, Steel Path is just Bullet Sponge, and still those enemies die in one bullet anyway if you have the right build. So, I don't know. Uh, please give me some Rage or something. Third Orb, blah, blah, blah. Uh, next Deluxe Skin, who do you think it will be? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I think it will either be, uh, maybe, who hasn't gotten one? Lavos could get a Deluxe Skin, I guess. He was the one after, uh, he was the frame after Zaku, but I feel like we're forgetting a frame that was before that. Oh yeah, there's no Baruch Deluxe Skin. So maybe a Baruch Deluxe Skin, uh... Hildren's got one too. Yeah, so probably Baruch Deluxe, even though we just got Baruch Prime. Uh, that could be nice. Uh, moving on. Now, this is, like, I, this is just wish fulfillment right here. A crossover event, please. Can we please have a crossover event where we actually get something cool in-game? We did like, uh, a half-butt crossover event with PUBG Mobile, but it did, we didn't get anything actually in-game for Warframe. PUBG got like Wukong Prime in-game or something, but we got nothing. So how about a crossover event where we don't get ripped off this time, D.E.? Who, actually, who even wants to do a crossover event with Warframe? We'll have to figure someone out. Um, but I was thinking, since there's that new site, the Corafell, I never really watched Ruby, but apparently it's like a very, very similar to the weapon in Ruby. Maybe get like a Ruby crossover with that site, like a special skin to make it look just like the one from the anime. I just made that up off the top of my head. Like, there's lots of things they could do, but they just have to do it. Someone has to be willing to do a crossover event with Warframe. Next one, Cynical. Daviri delayed until Tenokan. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if we didn't get uh, Daviri until Tenokan. So, uh, potentially that. Uh, hopefully not. I'm really hoping for, like, late March, early April. Uh, because, you know, Daviri is... Or, Tenokan is in July. So, that would be, like, multiple months of nothing. So, that would be kind of crappy. Uh, but I, would, I wouldn't put it past D at this point. 
armor and health buffs. Uh, now, as far as like level, like really high level missions, not even level 10k, specifically like, level like 1200, health and armor does not really hold up very well at all, and you pretty much are forced to use invisibility, revenant, or invincible, or did I already say invisibility, invisibility, invincibility, or shield gate to do high level missions. I think that's kind of like not very well designed because there's so many things in this game that you can mod, like health and armor. There's so many health and armor mods, yet there is limited ways to use them in high level missions. I know high level missions aren't really what they design around, but some players do play them. And honestly, for low level missions, your build doesn't even matter for the most part anyway. So the only places builds actually matter, high level missions, a lot of the builds aren't even practical in the slightest. So maybe a change to that. But at the same time, if they were to do that, like I said, most people don't play those high level missions at low level missions. Armor and health buffs would make it very easily AFKable, and apparently this game has a bot problem because they have nothing else. Why don't you go bot Lost Ark? What's, why are you bot in Warframe, dude? Go bot Lost Ark instead. Um, yeah, apparently we got a bot problem. That's so why we got Steel Essence nerfed. Uh, so yeah, that might be a dangerous buff in the first place. Moving on to the last couple here, we got here uh, Drifter Intrinsics don't work in the Operator. Uh, so as far as like it, Drifter Intrinsic, they did announce that will be a thing. Think of it basically like Intrinsics for Railjack, but for your your. Uh, your Drifter. I hope it doesn't only work on the Drifter, though, because I don't use the Drifter. I use the Operator because lots of cosmo cosmetics that I bought don't work on the Drifter. They only work on the Operator, so I'm not going to be playing the Drifter, losing my cosmetics I paid money for, uh, and also having like a character I think looks just stupider, honestly. I prefer the, uh, the Operator appearance-wise and for like gameplay reasons because of the whole, like, you know, like, I bought this skin. It doesn't work on the other other character. That's like the, one of the biggest reasons. So hopefully it only works, or hopefully it works on both, not just the Drifter. Next one, Zeramon Fissures. Sorely needed. These should, be, should have been in the game a while ago. I want to have a uh, Steel Path Fissure Cascade. Please not uh, Requiem Relics. I would take Requiem Relics, but like Axie would be great. Uh, whatever. So basically, Zeramon does not have any Arbitrations or Fissures, yet you are required to beat Zeramon to get arbitration, to get access to Arbitrations and the Steel Path. It's just kind of silly. It's like, why are, we, why are we forced to do this? Oh, it's because you want people to buy Necromex and Railjax to get access to the Steel Path, even though they didn't have to do that before. So, pretty dumb. But yeah, Zeramon Fissures would be a nice reason to unlock the Zeramon in the first place. Another one that's probably going to make you not feel too great. Remember AoE self-damage. I do because they talk about it as recently as November dev stream. Anyone that thinks AoE uh, self-damage being added back is canceled is a fool. Because in most recently as November, they said, here is what self-damage is. We're not going to add it yet because we don't want to keep having to hotfix it over the holidays. So expect self-damage to be added back to AoE weapons and Brahmas and all that. Uh... In the future, not sure when, but expect it. It's not canceled. It's not canceled at all. It's still happening. It just isn't being talked about in the forefront. Last couple things. 10th anniversary should be in March. Uh, I'm guessing it'll be like an ephemera or something. Uh, moving on, hints at what's after Daviri. There, we have no information of what's happening after Daviri, so maybe they'll start giving us some information on that. Uh, maybe like little details. Not even just... Uh, uh, not even good information, just like little details about what's happening after Daviri. Because, seriously, I don't even know what to guess. Like, what are they going to do afterwards? Hopefully infested liches, uh, hopefully raids, things like that. Third or blah, blah, blah. Um, last two, here we got Daviri is just high-budget call missions. If you saw my poll, 80% of you voted on that poll, said that they think Daviri will just be high-budget call missions. And how can you, do, how can you uh, argue with them? Because it's not you and your Warframe. It's not all this gear we grinded after all these years, all these missions. It's you being removed of all your gear, playing as the Drifter. Potentially, there will be a Warframe in there at some point, but don't expect that Warframe to be modded. Don't expect any of your, your, your Archiplasmors, your Brahmas, your weapons you grinded for, all your mods, to actually be there either. So... It's not really Warframe to me. Warframe to me is I grinded all this gear out, just like you're seeing on the screen for this other game. I grinded all this gear out. I'm going to use this gear after all these years and these new missions, uh, you know, in these high level situations. It, it, it's just, it's what I want to do when I'm playing this game. I, I unlock all this gear. I unlock all this. I grind all this gear out. I want to use this. I don't want to be mini gamed into some random update that doesn't have anything to do, like, you know, like, Gameplay-wise, with what I'm doing in the other missions, it's a completely separate experience. I don't like that personally, and I feel like DE should stop doing mini-game updates. It's not frustrating just me; it frustrates others as well. So, by the way, guys, hope you found this funny video fun helpful. I will see you live on stream tomorrow. Actually, I'll be live tonight for some Destiny if you want to watch Destiny. But if you're only here for Warframe, I will be live tomorrow for the Warframe dev stream, uh, and I also have a dev stream overview video tomorrow night as well. So, I appreciate all the support, guys. I'll see you next time and take it easy. Peace.